Hello everybody, it's your girl Bunny. Thank you for tuning in. Join me as I review Disney's live action remake by director Jon Favreau. You don't want to miss this. All right, you guys, so let's get to it. As a moviegoer, you have to understand that a remake is just that. Two totally different directors, maybe sometimes different production, and different ideas of how you want to communicate that with the audience. John Favreau, he did a wonderful job with The Jungle Book. I loved it, but I also knew going in his direction and style of movie. When you use live action film, you should automatically know that there is a different limitation you have with the characters. Live action meaning a lion doesn't smile or dance or do a backward flip or can jump into a tree in less than five seconds and then jump into a lake and start to dance and smile all over again. So there is different limitations with a live action film and an animation. Remakes should never be compared to one another, but just human nature and just human routine. We can't help but to compare something, especially connected with childhood. Lion King, the animated film, was such a wonderful movie because they added in musical songs and everything was just so wonderful and you had a lot of popular Tony award-winning Broadway actors and thespians in the movie so you can't help but to compare this so with this review I want to understand and I want you to understand that you have to view them totally different so that is what I'll do so with the cast I actually have to read this you have Seth Rogen you have um, Billy Etchner you have Afri Woodard James Earl Jones uh, Chiwetel Ejiofor, J.D. McCrary, um, Shahidi Wright Joseph, and of course Beyonce. I know Beyonce fans are like, it's other people in the movie? I didn't know that. <laughs> but yes, there are other people in the movie. So for the cast selection, before we even get to what the contents are of the movie, the, the cast selection I thought was a little bit interesting. I noticed that they mixed more comedians along with the actors, some actors more seasoned than, than others, some actors that are singers as well as actors so that gives us a different interpretation coming right in that the cast has been tweaked as well now let's get into the pros and the cons about this movie. Now the pros, the cinematography is absolutely amazing. The live action and wondering, wow, is this really real footage of a lion? Is this really uh, the footage of this particular animal? This can't be real. Another wonderful fact that Jon Favreau shared in an NBC interview is that there is only one real shot, meaning that there is a real live action shot that was used in the movie. The rest of it is using, of course, the technology to give a live action feel uh, movie. So I thought that was very interesting because I really wanted to see if I could guess where this live action shot was and I think I got it pointed out, but I don't want to give it away because I don't think that he will want my trained eyes to give it away, but that's something that you can look at. The sound was absolutely amazing. The cinematography and actually capturing capturing uh, the moments of feeling that you're in Africa and the sun rises and the sun sets and the crunching of grass and the wind blowing and the trees leaning in the wind and water and all of those things. So all of that came together and that was absolutely beautiful. Some of the differences between the original script of Lion King and the live action film kind of really made people think, okay, this is a remake, but a lot of the plots and a lot of the, I guess what makes The Lion King different really didn't sit well with a lot of people. For one, a lot of the characters and their importance or their roles within this script were a little different. The hyenas didn't have that comedic pull in the movie. It was more of that dark, um, being hyenas in the movie and not being the, the typical uh, Whoopi Goldberg character that carried that comedic role and they would be the little subtle uh, comedic uh, moments in the movie that didn't uh, that weren't existent in the film so a lot of people said hey where's the comic relief 
Where is that? That is what makes the hyenas the hyenas. Where is Zazu? The, you know, the, um, I think he's a toucan. I don't know. I have to look up the bird. But where is he kind of as the counsel to, the counsel to Mufasa? Is he there? Is he not there? Why is this character not the same? So a lot of that is changing. A lot of that comedic relief had to be taken out because this is a live action film. Live action goes correlating again with a lion or with a real animal. Do you see a lion smile? Do you see certain animals say, oh, Kuna Matata. So if they make the animation match live action film then those characters will come off a little creepy because that is not the natural uh esque or that is the nat not the natural caricature of an animal so a lot of people were thrown off about that with that being said a lot of the joy and a lot of the comic relief had to be taken out and replaced with a little bit more darker touches because these are real animals so you have to understand that so that's where we have the differences and things that needed to be changed john favreau did the same thing with the jungle book book there were the moments where you had to sing the traditional songs from the jungle book because that's what we know from the original animated film but it had to be taken out because these are real animals you can't make animals make unnatural realistic emotions and and movements it just wouldn't feel the same so that's where you start to feel that disconnect and i think that's where a lot of movie critics started to give this really low ratings because you didn't feel like it pulled you in and you sort of feel disconnected and you sort of felt am i watching the national geographic channel with the voiceover or maybe what they might say so that lacklusters the emotion in the film and it kind of pulls you away from being pulled into the story so that's where a lot of people start to disconnect from this film another con to this film unfortunately is song placement within the movie there are a lot of times to where it, there's a crescendo of energy and you start to get pulled in and then some of the musical selection really starts to pull you back again lacking kind of that soulful or is it playful or am I supposed to be sad and if I was feeling sad you've pulled me out of that and now I feel a totally different way speaking of lackluster so lackluster is not a bad thing lackluster is just that in a certain moment or a certain placement or a chance in the film to pull you in to allow you to feel a certain emotion is gone is diminished so it's just like if a, if a comedian is on stage and he's at the crescendo and of a joke and somebody way in the back coughs or starts to heckle you've lost the energy and the momentum of the joke and then you lose your audience sort of the same feeling sort of the same chemistry in a lot of parts of the movie i hate to bring this up but an example of a lackluster part is when we get to a crescendo part of the movie where all of the lions are starting to feel like it's their moment to fight it's their moment to join in we're going against scar let's do this and beyonce's character says are you with me lions oh it's kind of like something was missing. It's kind of like we needed somebody with her in the booth to say, you know what, this is about to happen. This is the moment I need you to get in. We are about to fight. Let's do this. Overall, this was not a bad film. This was not something that was just absolutely horrible that I don't think um, a kid would enjoy. It is a little darker. Um, there were moments because they're animals, they fight, so they're not gonna make the fight jolly. I mean, they're gonna, <laughs> it's a live action film. And I think people have to understand what that means, what it is, and not compare the two movies. Just like if you have a Batman movie, movie with 
Michael Keaton, and you have a Batman, Christian Bale. These are two different, two totally different, uh, two totally different interpretations of a movie and different aspects of it. Do I want to show more of the raw, dramatic fighting of Batman, or do I want him against a comedic Joker with Jack Nicholson, or do I want him as, with a dark character such as Bane? So there's different. Uh, ways to interpret and to put a movie out. This movie was not that bad. It just had several moments of lackluster. That is something that I am crowning as a term because that is the best way that I can explain it. But there were several moments of lackluster. Overall, it was a okay movie. So what do I rate this film? I rate it a 7.5 out of 10. What saves this movie is the cinematography, the direction, the colors, the sound. This is the crust of the movie. And unfortunately, I wish I could give it a higher rating. Uh, but the reason why I give it a 7.5 is that because this technology that John Favreau is using is still developing and it's still growing. And I think that maybe in 10 years or so, it will connect in such a way that we will forget that uh, we're watching a real life animal and we're actually feeling the emotion. Some, the, the emotion in this technology has yet to capture emotion in the face, in the facial expressions. So this is what's causing you to feel just an awkward, nondescriptive moment when you're in the movie and you really don't understand how you're supposed to feel and you go in thinking one thing and you come out with another. Not a bad movie, 7.5 out of 10. You guys, let me know what you think. I really enjoyed the movie, I didn't think it was bad. I'm gonna I'm I'm let up a little bit because I'm not comparing the two together. I'm understanding that this is a totally different interpretation and this is something that this new technology is still developing and it's okay, it's, it's okay. It's not something that when I got out of the theater, I just was just blown away, unfortunately, but it's not a bad movie. So leave your comment below if you agree, if you disagree. In the meantime, make sure to look out for other videos. Hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. You don't wanna miss it. Also, follow me on Instagram at the same name, officialbun underscore e. Love you, bye.